Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. I just wanted to say you are absolutely beautiful. I just wanted to say you're absolutely beautiful. I'm sure you hear it all the time. I know you hear it all the time. I'll say it's nice to meet you. I'll shake her hand. If she wants to know my name back, it's done. Game over, 100% in the bag. That's me using the famous Tate pickup line. Was I successful? You'll see in just a second. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, that is because I am on a mission to approach and secure the contact info of 30 girls in 30 days, and I'm documenting the entire journey from start to finish on this channel. Why am I doing this? Because my goal for 2024 is to show you undeniable proof that any guy with a little bit of guts and courage can go out there and meet and connect with the woman of his dreams. This is day three of doing exactly that. Day one, we successfully approached a girl at the airport and for yesterday's challenge we had to pick up a girl in five minutes or less and fast forward to today we're using andrew tate's pickup line this is day three of the revolution excuse me excuse me i just wanted to say you are absolute how many tries do you think this is going to take honestly i think maybe three tries or less for her to ask me my name i don't think this is that hard because the thing is is when you open with a big compliment like that it's hard for the girl to have a bad reaction she met, you're like walking into a fucking bush, bro. It's not my favorite way to open with like a really over the top compliment like that. But I mean, you have to think about the context, right? The reason it's good advice for him and it works for him is because he's big, he's strong. He has a very strong and commanding presence. He's very naturally charismatic. So when someone like that does it, they can get away and break the rules a little bit more than a guy who's maybe a little more inexperienced and the girl will kind of just take it as them being, you know, a little try harder gimmicky. We're at the mall. Excuse me, excuse me. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to say you're absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I know you hear it all the time. <laughs> Probably the third time you heard it today, but. Thank you. What was your name? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Benjamin. How long are you here for? I'm leaving this week. Are you leaving this week? What are your plans? Do you have anything fun planned while you're here? I'm not really. I'm just passing time with my sister. Cool. Well, it might be cool to hang out while you're here, if you're around. Do you have Instagram? Huh? Do you have Instagram? Yep. My name on Instagram is the same thing. Is that your real name? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. my sacred name. Ah, very nice. <laughs> it was very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let's see you around. All right. Probably. First try. That was honestly pretty easy. But what I don't like about the line is obviously leading with a compliment like that there's only one way for the girl to respond and you put kind of put her on the spot because she can only respond with thank you very much that's flattering which is good and it's exactly like he says however the problem with leading with a direct compliment like that is that you're often asking the girl to make a snap judgment of you and the situation immediately which is not my preference if i do make compliments as my conversation starter i will typically open with something more along the lines of like, excuse me, hi, I saw you and I had to come say hi because it's implied that I thought she was cute. And the context is me saying hi rather than the context is me coming up and just saying a compliment directly. Because like I said, when you come up to say that compliment directly, the girl may think that your goal is to just leave right after. She doesn't know that you're there to start a conversation and that there's a romantic intent. All that being said, obviously it works for Andrew Tate. You always need to find what works specifically for you, which is why no matter what line you use, I'm not a big fan of lines. Usually I just go up and say whatever comes to my head. The whatever line you use, it has to be congruent with you and you never want to be putting on a show or putting on a gimmick. Obviously using Andrew Tate's line is not very congruent to me. So that was not a good interaction. Honestly, I didn't think that was a great interaction at all. So we'll go do a few others. We'll get some bonus interactions in and see how we go. If you guys want some real life-changing value, some real LCB, so for a, the best spot to do your approaches. If you guys leave a comment and you want me to do it, maybe we'll do a picking up girls in Sephora video. That might be a little too overpowered though. That might be a little too overpowered. Keep that one a secret. Don't share that one. Otherwise it's gonna get ruined. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to say you're absolutely beautiful. Eat me. All good. Swing and a miss. So that one was a case of not being able to get in front of the girl fast enough. I couldn't really make eye contact. Typically when you're going to make the approach, you want to do it at some distance, make eye contact first, and then speak your piece so that they're prepared for it. Because if you come off off the side or behind them or around a corner and you startle them, they're usually just going to be wincing away and they're going to continue that momentum and wincing away from you. So it wasn't really an ideal first approach. 
and also, in my opinion, not a line that's great for me, personally. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. I just had to come say hi. Oh, I think nice to meet you. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> like one that's really sweet. That's... <laughs> so it made me shy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I know. What's your name? Yeah. Nice to meet you. At the, at the yeah, I, I can yeah. tell by the, by the London yeah. accent. <laughs> Well, if you have any plans or if you're looking for plans, maybe we could get together one of these nights. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I will. Maybe Instagram's easier. Oh, yeah, just do that, yeah. Yeah. The green is a very nice look, by the way. Thank you. We feel very hungover, so yeah. minimum effort today. You look quite good for me. <laughs> Thanks so much. Well, it was well, very nice to meet you. Yeah, have a good day. Fun. So we just finished the second interaction. The thing that Andrew Tate has really good with his line and his explanation of it is you have to get the girl's attention first. You'll notice in the two rejections that I got, I couldn't really get in front of the girls in time or get eye contact to get their attention first. So the first time I was getting their attention is when they were seeing me for the first time and it makes it hard for them to want to stop when they're being effectively startled. And you notice I changed the lineup a little bit just so I could feel more comfortable delivering it and saying it in a way that's more authentic and genuine to me. When you're using someone else's canned line it can help initially but it's not really what you want to be doing as you get better over time because then it's just gonna come off as fake so although this line definitely works really well for Andrew Tate and it probably can work really well for you you saw it work well for me it's important to figure out how you can adjust these lines or find the thing that is going to be most authentic to you because the authenticity and genuineness with which you enter the interaction is going to determine the vibe the aura and the energy that you carry into simply making the adjustment of the line of excuse me I had to come say hi I think you're absolutely beautiful makes it easier because I'm starting the conversation in a way that feels more natural and that I had to come say hi so I'm saying hi because I want to start that conversation rather than just coming up and giving a compliment and running away which is the vibe that a lot of people will get if you open with that from the start so overall I would say Andrew Tate's pickup line is very solid but you have to know how to use it and how to adjust it to yourself in the situation that you're in the other caveat here too is that I was approaching girls while with their while they were walking and moving somewhere whereas when Andrew Tate was describing the line I believe he was doing it in the context of a nightclub or somewhere where the people are more stationary and going up and saying something like that it'll be more obvious and interpreted as you starting a conversation rather than simply going up delivering a compliment on the fly perhaps the funniest part about this challenge is not even the challenge itself but the fact that with the popularity of the red pill philosophy it's completely deluded guys into believing that simply making money getting in shape and having status means women will just magically fall from the sky but yet Andrew Tate who many guys in the red pill space would herald as the peak of masculinity and high value he himself still talks about how he approaches a girl no matter who you are whether you're Andrew Tate whether you're a normal guy with every woman you meet you always start at zero you can be the most high status guy in the world but if you don't initiate you'll be invisible to her you can stand in the middle of the street with a Lamborghini the chances that a girl is going to approach you a girl that you would actually want to take seriously and date and start a relationship with is pretty much zero if you say the wrong thing early Early on in the interaction, all your status goes out the window, which is why Andrew Tate, his entire conversation starter process, although it doesn't work as well for me because I'm not Andrew Tate, every aspect of it was carefully thought out to get him maximum success. So you have to go and put yourself out there and find what's going to work for you, but you want to have a plan. And if your plan is to simply get rich and get in shape and women will just come to me, I hate to break it to you, but I've worked with hundreds of clients over the last couple years who are rich, who are in good shape, and are still still struggling with women. Every guy wants to believe the comforting lie that they can just shun women until they've reached peak masculinity or peak value. But what they're really doing is a creative form of procrastination and avoidance of going and doing the hard, uncomfortable thing right now in the present. The guy who goes out and learns the skills of starting conversations with women, learning what works for him, what his vibe is, who he truly is, and how he wants to communicate himself to women in the dating world, that guy will be a lot more successful than the rich guy who never did any of that work and was using all of those things as a way to really hide from the fact that deep down he's still insecure when he's put in front of the attractive girl. And regardless of what you think about Andrew Tate, based on his opening line and based on his explanation of his opening opening line, he's definitely found something that works for him. And even he knows that checking off the imaginary boxes of becoming a high value man 
does it entitle you to the love and adoration of a woman? There's no Amber Alert notification that goes off on every girl's phone within a five mile radius once you become high value saying, oh, look, John over there is high value. You have to, you have to go date him. I mean, do you hear how stupid that sounds? That's why it's important for you to wake up from delusion, stop coping, and just put yourself out there. And if you want help developing your own system and your own formula for going out and approaching women, then click below to watch my full course that shows you the entire step-by-step -step process to get you over your approach anxiety, get you out there doing your first approach, and finding your own unique, authentic style that will get you meeting women and connecting with the girl of your dreams.